Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where last episode we took over as this guy and uh, we had to put our realm back together. Luckily it went nice and quickly. We do have this dangerous faction in nine months. Hmm, how dangerous are they really? Also, how much loot is there over here? None. Can we go raiding over this way? No. Okay, there's no raiding to be done, looks like. So, basically, all we need to do is chill for a bit, I think. We could definitely ransom this guy. Yeah, we'll take 10 gold. I would not mind improving our county control. That is definitely a thing that needs to happen. I'm a little concerned about our prestige levels right now. Um, this is because we're reinforcing. I, I think we'll be fine once we're no longer reinforcing here. Our prestige levels definitely need some work, but yeah, looks like we'll be okay once we're no longer reinforcing. A martial lifestyle perk? Do it. 93% chance of nothing happening. I love it. Okay, 27 dread and a martial lifestyle perk. I think the 17 stress is worth this. Who will we be killing? Our knight? Okay, I don't love that, but the price for betrayal must be paid. Cool. Finally, the whole ordeal is over. He was executed for his crimes, and now we can definitely grab strict organization to increase control and county progress gain. Fantastic. So we're going to be working our control up very quickly, of course. We need to get that up in multiple locations. We're currently somewhat weak because of that. We're also letting our levies regenerate, I suppose. I want to check in on our construction status here. Okay, we would need mots for that. We can definitely upgrade this longhouse. That would net us an additional quarter point of prestige per month and additional control growth and levies. Alternatively, we're not working on mustering grounds right now. We're still on Cass's belly and ledger. The alternative here would be that we could potentially go for something along the lines of either hillside grazing lands, although I think I'd rather go for camels over cavalry. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what the actual uh, layout of that ends up looking like. But we may actually want to grab some spearmen at some point. So it would mean palisades. I think for the time being... We upgrade our gathering halls. It's going to be a very long time until we want to change this. I think for the time being, the prestige and control growth will be good, although that will fall off in its usefulness later on. But I think that'll be fine. And I mean, the we're, we're going to get an additional building slot, right? So in about 16 years. So no, this should be completely fine. An additional building slot here will mean we'll be able to put in a palisade here. We'll be able to put in a longhouse in each of these would be the idea. Game sighting, huh? That is interesting. So we should consider spending some gold on going hunting then. Okay, so let's plan this hunt. And it's going to be a regular hunt. We had a game sighting down over here. We we had a sighting of Gazelle. So we're going to head down there. I'm not concerned about the route. There are two remaining dangers on route, apparently. We could appoint a caravan master. And apparently this is something that, uh, that women can do. Okay, that's convenient. Salary when a travel starts is eight gold. Okay. She has average aptitude. I don't think... We could hire a desert warrior. But that alone brings it down to low chance of danger. And this is a one-time expenditure, right? So I think a low danger is fine. We do want to increase our success chances and get a lot more prestige. Our goal, of course, is not recreation. We're not going to look for stress-relieving opportunities. We want to be the one who brings down the quarry for the prestige. So we'll start that hunt. That will cost 135 gold, but that's fine. And we're off. Beautiful. Market villages have been constructed over in this location. That's great. So that will increase our monthly income by a decent amount. 
Never. A peasant's lot is to serve their lord. Okay. So our hunt will man and our hunt will continue. The war does not require our full attention. Okay. So we'll get to that here in a moment. Soon, indeed. We're going to close the hunt for the moment, and we are going to head down over here. This is only 254 here and here. Okay, noted. I'm just going to raise our men at arms. Uh, we're going to seek the gazelle, I think, right? We had the sighting of gazelle. Okay, let's do that. So we're going to bring these guys in over here. Okay. Attendants are flushing the prey. We could get back on the horse. Yes. 35 prestige here. Beautiful. 67% chance. Looking good. Tell them. We lose stress. Success chance increases. And we gain 75 more. Talk later. Beautiful. I don't know why I said tell them. That's not what that says. <laughs> we could attempt to ambush the gazelle. Or we could corner it. It's more perilous... And the success chance would decrease. But we would get extra prestige out of it. Hmm. Let's do it. A great suggestion. I want this to be very, very, uh... Be more careful, indeed. Actually, an intrigue challenge, huh? I'm okay with stress here. I think stress is fine. Cool. So, 58% chance of 37 prestige, and we complete the Slay Beast intent. Do it. And we got it. Fantastic. That's how you do it. 37 prestige. And do we keep a memento here? Yes. Yes, we do. We'll become the owner of a gazelle horn. Beautiful. And we'll finish that hunt. Okay. So, we do have a few of these trinkets that we probably should equip. That would be helpful. That'll generate us some extra prestige. There we go. These guys can come on over here. No, don't embark. We can just walk over this way. Cool. And we're home. Fantastic. Where are these guys going? Are they going to our capital? Yeah, they're going to our capital. Okay, sure. Which of these is lowest? 32, 33, and 6? Okay, uh, we're not going to grant this out. I wanted to in increase control down here. There we go. 3.34% per month. Wow, that's fast. Okay. I love it. So this peasant conflict is, of course, done, right? It's super, super over. There we go. We'll enforce those demands and disband our troops. It is going to cost us a little bit of prestige to get that recovered. That's okay. We're negative prestige with our men-at-arms raised, so we definitely don't want to further increase these at this time. Never a dull moment indeed. We could attack Mara, couldn't we? Mm, he's allied to this guy. Yeah. With our ally, we might be able to pull it off, actually. A holy war would be interesting here. I want to take a look at religion. Yes, these are the only Abadi rulers in the area. So we're definitely going to fight both of them. So a holy war does make sense here. We would have to call in our ally. Guaranteed. How much would it cost us to do that? This guy's irrelevant, right? We don't care about him. But how much prestige is this going to cost? We're going to have to do it either way. If we're going to win this war, we need our allies' help. I wish we knew how much prestige this was going to cost. But we have to do it any way we slice it. 150? That's worth it. Call to war. Beautiful. So that's great. We're going to raise up our forces around here. 
And now this guy is going to be a while before he gets here, right? If we move in here, we do run the risk of this guy coming down. This, this guy is not raising his army right now. Of course, this guy joins the war. We fully expected that. Okay, they're already here. <laughs> well, uh, we want to not be personally leading this. We're going to lose this battle. 100%. I was afraid that they'd already be here and making their way in. I was hopeful that we'd be able to sneak in here because these guys weren't raising their forces, but that's not the case. So that's noted. I'm going to put this guy in charge here. We're going to lose this battle. We're going to retreat as soon as we can, and we'll have to wait for our ally to show up. So, we'll try to head out, but of course, we're, we're going to get caught. Naturally. This guy raised up his forces as well. We're going to retreat as soon as we can. I'm just mashing the retreat button here. There we go. So, we're out of there. We got 50 gold out of it. Okay, sure. And we do need a new chancellor, so that would be Rafiq here, I think. But that was our marshal. Um, I would rather have a marshal right now than a chancellor, I think. Okay. So these guys are down over here, right? That's okay. We're going to move our way up over this way. We're currently waiting on our ally to show up. He's almost here. We're going to head into Shabam. Since these guys are heading this way, they're abandoning their seat. Do we hold here or do we keep running? That's the question right now. Our ally is nearly here. He's going to have to head here. I think we go this way to link up with our ally. Yes. Our ally is now here. Now what I want to do is I want to come up this direction. And we want to fight these guys up here if we can. They are running away. Our ally is moving with us. I think he actually connected to us. So that's perfect. We're, we have these guys cut off from this position. So we move here. And I want to head up here. Our ally is going to come with. Now, the chances are even here. What is our ally's commander's strength here? 16? Okay, so he would be the one in charge. And the commander here would be 15 and 18. So this guy would have a slightly better commander than the, the defensive buildings here. So maybe our ally was right to head down here first. Okay, we'll do a little bit of maneuvering here. Hang on a moment. These guys are separated. 34 days, 31 days. We would arrive in 31 days. So we would arrive on 12 May right now. These guys leave on 10 May and then 13 May. So what if we went in like this? Would our ally join us? Yes, he would. We're to catch them slightly split up here. Just like that. Beautiful. Now that's magnificent. Our ally is heading back this way, which I'm okay with. I actually would like it if our ally would come over here. But I guess they're, they're parking here just because these guys can come back down. I think this is fine. Even if they take this siege here, which they will, they have their onagers. So even if they take this siege, I think this is okay. I wish that this guy would at least send his onagers over to us, but whatever. They're actually not super far ahead of us in terms of the siege roll. They're a little ahead of us. But they're not tremendously ahead. So they succeed that siege. That's no shockers there. But then we take this, and the war should just be over, right? Seventy-three percent. Okay, fair enough. So we want to head up and fight them up this way. 
Our ally is going to come over this way and maybe cut these guys off. Yes. Our ally's on the way in here. This looks good. We should easily win this. We have the defensive buildings. They have a better army commander. I don't care about that. We win this. Easily. As expected. Not even close. Beautiful. Now we're going to come back and take this area back. And ticking war scores on our side. Honestly, we probably end the war just from ticking before we even siege this, right? Yeah, I think there's not even a point in sieging that. We're just going to walk out. Ticking war score will get it from here. Our ally can siege it if they want. I'm not going to take the attrition. So this looks good. Beautiful. We'll enforce those demands and disband our troops. Now we're at five out of four domain limit. One thing I want to do is I want to hop over here. What is our wife's stewardship skill? 18. That's actually really good. Manage domain. That puts us up to five out of five. I love it. So we now need a chancellor and this guy would do. He's not great, but he'll do. And of course, we have a perk available here. Control territory defender advantage plus five would have been convenient. Um, <laughs> sure. Faction military power threshold for vassals. We don't have any vassals, but we'll take a man's home for now. And yeah, that was a very successful war. I like it. What do we have going on over here? We've got a simple palisade. And then beyond that, we definitely want to build a market here. Cool. So that was pretty good overall. We can declare wars, yes. We have prisoners that we can ransom, and I'm very interested in doing that. This is a lot of gold, actually. And then, then as a follow-up question, do we have any knights we can bring in? We have one. How much would he want? 21 gold? Okay, sure. That puts us up to, what, uh, four of nine? Five of nine. Okay. Sure, that's it for now. Do we want to do any raiding, is the question now. Hmm. Control level plus 10. And encourage development. Seems pretty good at this moment. Yeah, that's only 5 control right now. We should definitely get our marshal working on control level up here. Over here is going to need control level as well. But there we go. I think that raiding does make some amount of sense here. This guy's only 584 strength. And there certainly is raiding that we could do here. So yeah, that definitely makes sense. Let's raise up our forces here as raiders. The path that we're going to take is here, here, here. This is just raided. And then out over this direction, then here, then back. I'm not going to be hostile with anyone else at this moment. I don't know that that'll fill us up all the way. I don't think it will. Mm, maybe we would raid down here. We could raid these on the way back. This raid... This guy's still weak from the war. Maybe. We'll see when we get near his border. We'll see what that's like. Okay. So these raids are going nicely, which we fully expect. Five loot there. And yeah, that's... This is all pre-rated. Okay. We're going to take 70 casualties here. I don't care about that. That's fine. No major problem there. Cool. This guy, this guy is just running up over this way. I wouldn't mind... He could be going into either of these. We can attempt to catch him here. Okay, he actually went up there to raid further. Never mind, then. We'll just come down here. Yeah, we took extra attrition that we didn't need to. But uh, I, I was hoping to catch this force and get the gold that he had, but he's a little out of the way. I'm not going to do that for right now. Enemy occupations do not lower control. Yes, please. That would have been nice a little bit ago. Okay, so that's pre-raided. We can come here, 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 and then go back. We could even try to grab here on the way out. I don't think it's worth it for the five gold here. He already lost. Okay, sure. We're going to head down this direction.
Beautiful. Uh, we do require a spy master, and realistically, our half sister here is fine for that job. Cool. No problem whatsoever there. We do have a decent amount of gold at this moment. So is there any construction that we can actually do? No, we're lacking tech for a lot of that. Okay. There's a grand halls in Mara. Nice. So that is, of course, this down over here. Yeah, we're just lacking tech for a lot of this at this moment. We'll be able to get a level two trading outpost. That's definitely something we can do. Twelve years out for Ledger. Okay. Ledger is going to be very beneficial for us, of course. Ah, they're too drunk to be a real threat. There we go. Martial lifestyle experience sounds good. We're going to grab this city here. We're 89 out of 140 at this moment. We had a daughter. Okay, sure, that's fine. Our alliance with our half-brother is invalid. Okay, I don't care about that. That was the one that had 27 troops. <laughs> that's irrelevant. No problem whatsoever there. We're going to head up over here. We've definitely taken attrition. No doubt about that. Do we think we can steal this and go in? I'd love to. I guess we'll see. This guy's at 2620, so that's definitely spooky. He's at twice our troop count. I think we should, probably shouldn't risk it. Uh, sure, we'll take 10 gold. Beautiful. And then we're just going to head on back. Our brother died from a seizure. Okay. Well, that's very sad for him. Cool. Let's head on back. We can create the Duchy of Mara as well now. That's a decent use for our gold. I'm going to do that. Beautiful. We can ransom this guy. He doesn't have the gold that we want. So for the time being, we may not want to. We can actually start upgrading these war camps with that prestige, and that's a really good thing to do. That's going to boost up our Mubarazun substantially. So we'll disband these armies now. We'll let those recover for a bit, and we can get this upgrading. Magnificent. So we definitely need to increase the size of our Mubarazun, right? Okay, the uh, Christians can now crusade. That's very rude. They're not going to crusade against us anytime soon, but uh, we're going to have to deal with that. That's definitely a thing that we'll have to do. We could join this guy's grand tournament. I don't think I will at this moment. I think I'm far more interested right now in letting our... It's mostly our levies that need to regenerate. And that's a slow process. 30 per month. Let's see. Is this still levy regeneration speed here? Yeah, actually, 20% levy reinforcement speed. Okay, noted. I mean, we definitely need to increase our control levels, right? 78 here, 69 here, actually 70 now, and 48 over here. So that's going reasonably well. 25 here. Yeah, that's going reasonably well there. We're currently at 2430 max for our soldier count. But this is going to improve quite a bit once we get these warrior lodges upgraded. This is a slow, slow process. Boy, that uh, tooltip is exciting. There we go. Four years on that. Cool. So with that in mind, what's our next move? Potentially attacking Socotra? We're going to have to start actually handing out titles at this point once we expand further. Another interesting option would be to, to actually cut into this guy's power. So we would end up taking, like, prepared conscription here. Friendly territory levy reinforcement rate plus, tw plus 100%. Okay, that's nice. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to help our levy regeneration rate here. Oh, that was not the button I was looking for. I'm, I'm always caught off guard by that. <laughs> I was looking to do this. There we go. Okay. So, it's definitely an interesting option to cut into this guy's power. Outside of the Abbasids, 
who aren't actually that strong. Outside of the Abbasids, this guy is the strongest. Who is he allied to? He has a lot of allies. Okay, we're probably going to have to cut into those allies at this point. What is this icon? Oh, that's the Grand Tournament. Okay, noted. Cool. So, how do we want to go about cutting into this guy's power? Well, we would definitely like to take over this area, right? That would be amazing. We don't really have a claim on it, exactly. We would probably do a Holy War for Duchy, would be the way that that would go. Of course, we definitely don't want to do this with his ally set up the way it is. We could think about... Oh, this guy's Armenian. That's interesting. We could think about allying the Abbasids. Or swearing fealty to them and uh, trying to take them over from within. But I'm not sure that I want to go that route here. I would be interested in potentially attacking this guy. Which we can't do because our level of fame is too low right now. If we wanted to do a duchy level. It would certainly be interesting. The Emir of Medina, huh? Okay. Well, this guy is definitely going to be a problem for us a little bit. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll start properly looking at cutting into this guy's power levels. It's mostly these alliances at this moment. We're broadly similar to him otherwise. Although... Interesting. We counter all of his... All of his unit types here, except the Mubarazun, I suppose, but we outnumber his Mubarazun. So we would probably end up being able to win this fight if it wasn't for the allies. For now, though, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to work on all of that. And uh, I, I've, I've kind of gotten a bit sidetracked here. Definitely. Hang on. It's a little early for that. Okay. <laughs> I'm definitely sidetracked. Fantastic. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kentogan, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.